hi everyone i'd like to welcome you guys to today's video um today we're gonna be um retouching this um amazing beautiful um black skinned uh, girl um we're gonna be doing some retouching um as you can see this is already in the um, capture one and then we're gonna take it right to photoshop and then start retouching I, I i did some little bit of work in capture one um so we're gonna head down to photoshop and then we're gonna start retouching Alright, so one of the first things that I would like to do um, right now is to um, remove some of the blemishes on, on the face, right? So we're going to take away some of the blemishes, some of the pimples and all of those stuff before we start, um, you know, retouching on. Well, the process of retouching has started already. Okay, so um, I like to dock this guy here, you know. Alright, so I'm going to um, go to my layer tab and then I'll want to, I'll, I'll duplicate. I'm going to press Ctrl J. To duplicate and then i'm going to zoom in um i'm going to press my shortcut z to bring out your zoom and then you can click and drag to zoom in then you it's quite easy to do it right all right so i'm going to zoom in to see some of the blemishes that i want to remove and one of the tools i'm going to use to remove the blemishes is the patch tool right so i'm going to press my shortcut j to um, activate the patch tool so what I'm going to do is quite simple. So I'm going to cycle the area I'm interested in that I'm going to drag away to a cleaner area. All right. That's simple, right? So I'm going to cycle out, then take away to a cleaner area. I'm going to cycle out um, to a cleaner area. All right. So I'm going to do this for throughout the rest of the image. And um, the patch tool is not really the only tool that you can use. You could use the... Um, spot healing brush to um, take out the blemishes but in this case i for some reason i prefer the patch too but at times i use the spot healing brush too all right or you can use the clone stamp too depending on which one works best for you but i i, I use the thumb tool that does, doesn't mean you can't use um whatever tool it is that suits you right okay so um like so all right so I think I'm going to um, fast forward this so we can save time. All right. So I think we have most of the pronounced um, uh, blemishes gone. So I'm going to just do some little bit of um, removing here. Okay. All right. So the next step, the next step, I don't have to take away everything, right? So the, the next step I'm going to do now is to run my um, frequency separation. But if you have an action, you can use it. I always recommend you create an action for yourself. Maybe I'm going to do another video showing you how to create your frequency separation action. So you don't have to repeat it, you know, over and over again. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to sh run you through how I create my frequency separation, um, you know, the process of creating my frequency separation so what i'm going to do right now is to i'm going to duplicate this layer the layer one you can press ctrl j all right so i'm going to duplicate on this layer one so i'm going to rename this um sorry i'm going to rename this color then i'm going to click on layer one copy sorry i, th I don't think i get that right Alright, so I'm going to click on double click on layer one copy and then I'm going to name it um, texture. Now, whatever name you give your um, layer doesn't really matter. As long as you are able to identify the layer, you can s you use low frequency or high frequency. It, it makes no difference. Alright, so I'm going to go down to my color layer. As you can see, I disabled my texture layer so I could see what is going on in my color layer. So I will select, um, I will go to filter, I will go to noise and go to median and then I'm going to use a frequency of 3, 4, there about, it doesn't have to be um, higher, but I'm going to use 4 for this image and then I'm, I'm going to click on OK. Alright, so I'm going to wait for you to load and then I'm going to go to my texture layer and then I'm going to go to image, um, apply image. Um, now I'm going to select the color layer all right then um, I'm going to change my blending from multiply I'm going to change it to subtract so my scale is at 128 offset is at 128 
opacity is um, 100% and then I'm going to click on OK. Alright, so I'm going to change the blending mode from normal. I'm going to change it to um, linear light. Alright, so I'm, I'm going to um, select the color layer. I have the texture layer already already selected. So I'm going to hold my control or command on, on, on the Mac and, uh, and then I'm going to click on the color layer. So as you can see, I have both the color and the texture layer selected. So I'm going to group. All right. So how I group is um, Control G to group. Quite easy. So there's this drop down um, icon right here. So I'm going to click on it to reveal the two layers in the group. So well before then, I'm going to double click on the group and then rename it FS. All right, which stands for frequency separation. So I could start. Um, mixing my mixing with my mixer brush right now but what i want to do is that i want to um i i, I don't want to work on this layer right so i want to i'm going to duplicate this color layer i'm going to press ctrl j to duplicate now what i was what that does for me is that i'm going to have a backup layer right here so maybe i um i made a mistake along the line and i want to start all over again i don't have to delete everything and start afresh all right what i have to do is just to remove this layer and then i'm good to go okay so i'm going to um create a clipping max i'm going to right click and then i'm going to create a clipping max so i have it clipped right into this um color layer i'm going to do the same thing for the texture layer i'm going to press ctrl j to duplicate and then i'm going to clip but as you would notice on the face, it is um, sh sharpened to some extent, and that's because of the um, blending mode. So I'm going to return it back to normal, so we have it uh, the way it was before. All right, now it's time to mix. All right, so I'm going to press B, or I'm going to go to my mixer brush, and then um, I'm going to make sure I'm going to go to the brush settings. I'm going to make sure my hardness is at zero percent, and then you can increase or decrease the size using the shortcut the left or right um bracket key which we, we should, whichever one is um okay for you all right so i'm gonna um get away from that now my settings is wet is 15 the load is 75 the mix is 90 and the flow is 100 percent now um there is no fixed settings to all of these things all right you just have to um you know based on experience all right i i found this to be i find myself comfortable working with these um settings so i'm going to start um mixing all right so i'm going to zoom zoom um zoom out a bit so i'm going to press z to bring up my zoom and then i'm going to reduce just a bit so i can just have a good overview of my you know of the face all right i'm going to press b to go back to my um mixer brush so i'm going to increase like i said um the left bracket piece to increase the size of your brush and then the left is to decrease and the key i'm talking about is the one next to p all right so i'm going to start mixing now i can't say this enough you have to mix um highlights ar around the region of the highlights and then mix your shadows and the midtones don't drag from highlights to 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 midtones. so you have to be very careful all right so let's get to work all right, so I'm going to start mixing and uh, let's see. Now, one of the things I'm going to do right now is to turn off the texture layer because I'm not interested in texture. I'm interested in the color right now. All right, so I'm going to start mixing. I might have to um, speed things up a bit because of um, time. So I, I want to reduce um, my my weight to 11. All right. So um, I don't want the change to be too rapid. I just want to um, get into the flow of things. So I'm, I'm going to speed things up again too. All right. Like I said, use any settings that you, you feel comfortable with.
so um i'm back and then you can see we've done a, a, a pretty good job on the face yeah uh, and you can see some of the textures there but then um you know one thing about um editing like this is that you have to take your time you have to take your time in um you know trying to get some perfections uh, um, there are still some areas where you still have to we still have to you know um make sure that we get it um right all right so when, when doing this you have to take your, your time you know so you can get the best out, out of it so um i think i like what i see so i'm gonna go to um i'm gonna look at it before and this is the after all right before and then after before and after all right i think i like wh wh what i'm seeing so far but what i want to do is that i want to re um, bring back some of the textures that um i just want to bring back some of the textures so i'm going to duplicate this texture layer all right thank god we have that and then i'm going to change the blending mode from multiply and i'm gonna bring leave it back to changing to multi uh, from from um, normal to multiply so le let me zoom right in and let's see what we've gotten as you can see the, the color has changed all right but then we have the text some textures back but it's kind of like too much so i'm going to reduce i'm going to reduce the opacity to like uh, i think 20 will be fine yeah i think 20 will be fine all right so there you go so we we have this right here so i'm gonna do this before and this after all right so before and after all right like i said this if i was um doing this on my own there's still a lot more that i would have done i would like to thank you guys for watching if you've not subscribed to my channel make sure you you know hit the subscribe button and then give me a thumbs up if you find this helpful and then leave a comment section in the leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you would like me to um you know do going forward thank you so much guys for watching see you guys in the next video bye bye